What has made you want to run this time? Well, this time I feel like we've done a good job. Uh, over the last five years that I've been commissioner, we've made some really strong improvements to the county, I think. Uh, we've improved our county carryover over a million dollars in five years. Uh, from one, well, from 1.2 million to 2.1, actually. Uh, and that doesn't seem like a lot when you compare it to other counties. Scioto County is about $5 million. Uh, but that, that's kind of like having money in the bank, and that's money we need to use. And, and uh, it's fortunate to have that position, but we, have, we need some, to grow that uh, to a larger amount, I think. Our EMS is the, voted the best in the state, and that's a strong accomplishment, and we like to keep that going. Um, but I just feel like uh, I have the experience to maintain what we've accomplished so far and to move the county forward. Uh, what in your education or background or particular characteristics make you qualified? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you, if you, if you leave Lawrence County, graduate from Chesapeake High School and go on to the Ohio State University where there's 52,000 students. Uh, the trait that you bring home with you is perseverance because that's a huge place to be and for a farm boy like me that was a big leap and I think I learned that by being there four years and that's an accomplishment that I'll hold dear for the rest of my time. Uh, now as a business owner uh, and in particular, being a dairy farmer, there's lots of traits that uh, help to qualify you to be a, a leader, I think. Uh, one of those is humility. There's nothing, there are not many things that can teach you humility like uh, having to euthanize an animal that you've spent a decade with, or, or uh, nothing brings you closer to the Lord than uh, having to pray for your crops that need rain. Uh, there's nothing that, uh, not many things that can show your work ethic like having to be there seven days a week on a cold Christmas morning when everybody else is at home. Uh, so those things uh, I think count and that, that's prepared me to be a leader and, and of course an education is important to have and uh, to move on and do other things and then come back home I think is a good example for our youth and that it can be done and, and, and I think they understand that. If elected, what are the top two or three three things you would want to accomplish this time around? <clears throat> well, I think that the most important thing is to grow that carryover. And that's like our checkbook. Uh, we're in a position now where we, uh, we are improving, uh, but when you look at that, uh, you, we can do things, uh, but we, basically Lawrence County lives paycheck to paycheck. And we're not to the point yet where we can make a huge move but as we grow that carryover, we can begin to make these big decisions where we can build a new jail in Lawrence County eventually. But we're not quite there yet. Now there are some proposals out there that may make it a little easier for us to accomplish. But that would that would be our top priority to make that happen here locally uh, in the city of Ironton. Uh, the second thing would be to educate our youth so that they realize that they can stay home. Uh, we try to provide that example at home, even on the farm we give an opportunity for school kids to come and see what, what a business is like here at home. And, and I'm, I think I uh, have shown that that's possible uh, by doing that and coming back to a family place and, and running a family business successfully. Uh, so that, that education of our youth, supporting our youth, supporting our seniors is an important aspect of what I'd like to do and we have done that. Probably the, the proudest thing that we have done is to, uh, even though we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on some things, uh, for $3,000 we have resurrected our senior center there in Chesapeake. Uh, and it was through a lot of collaborative effort with uh, the CAO and the Chesapeake School Board and the community center group there with a little bit of help from the county commission and uh, clerk of courts Mike Patterson. Uh, we've been able to do that and it, those least cost scenarios are a lot, a lot of times the most satisfying. Do you think you can work with your fellow commissioners? Absolutely. I can work with anyone. And even in the minority, I feel like I've been able to accomplish a lot of things that, that uh, otherwise would have been a challenge for some people. But no, I can get along with anyone, and, and I think uh, we have done some good things together. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't fight for what you believe in. And uh, I tend to be an independent person, and when I think I'm right, and a lot of times I, I do feel that way, then I fight for what I believe in. 
Why should I vote for you? <laughs> well, I, have, I think I have a voting rec record that's successful in moving Lawrence County forward. I have the experience that others don't have to continue to make that to happen. I feel I have those traits, humility, uh, a strong work ethic, perseverance. Uh, those are the kind of qualities that you want in a leader of this county.